Hey everybody, it's PJ Crypto here, and we're gonna get into a video, uh, it's a bit of a tutorial about how to get your uh, bank currency, like your fiat, and convert it into crypto and get it on chain. And so I wanna make this a quick and easy to follow tutorial, uh, but you'll need three things really to get going here. Uh, you'll have to create a, a Cash App account, uh, which I have a link down below. There's an affiliate there for you to go ahead and click on that link. Um, you'll also need to create a simple swap account. Very easy, free to do. Um, and then from there, uh, you'll need to have a trust wallet account created. Uh, so uh, those are the three things you'll need to have to get going here, but it's a very simple thing. Once you get the hang of it, uh, especially once you've gotten through all the setups and the creation of accounts, uh, going forward, it's actually quite easy. Now you might ask yourself, PJ, why are we not going through centralized exchanges? Well, yes, that is obviously a way that you can go about it, whether in the US, there's Coinbase, crypto.com and all that. But as we say on the channel, not your keys, not your crypto. And that means basically I'm a big believer of using your own decentralized ways of getting currency going through the system. So um, that's what we're going to continue to do as our uh, mantra here at the channel here, the PG Crypto channel, is to show you how to do things decentralized and not have to go through big institutions like centralized exchanges and so forth. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in the video. All right, so you're going to see here that I've got on the screen, it, this is the Cash app. Uh, it's cash.app is the website. Again, I'll have a link to an affiliate link. It'd be really helpful here on the channel if you can use that. Uh, I think like you get $10 US and I get $10 US uh, by using that link. I'm not sure where about in the world a lot of countries do have the Cash App as an option for you. Once you go through there and you create an account using the app um, in your phone, whether you're Android or iOS, uh, from there you'll actually be buying the Bitcoin. And that's the currency that we'll be using on blockchain. Uh, we'll be buying Bitcoin with our uh, bank account setups. Uh, what I like about Cash App is uh, it's it's free, obviously, but it's uh, very uh, light on when it comes to holds and things like that. Uh, they don't require long hold times. Uh, in fact, their limits are very generous. I think it's up to 2,500 US dollars per week of crypto that you can actually move out of there. Uh, so from that standpoint, I really like it. They have a card that you can get uh, and you can use it at point of sale terminals. Uh, so Cash App, I'm a big believer of. I think they have something going here that I really like. Uh, so uh, always promoting the Cash App. Uh, for people to use uh, and also it's easy to uh, maneuver as far as like sending people Bitcoin You just use it through the QR codes. Uh, you can do it there, too So once you get that set up, uh, you'll all be off and running and um, And I'm actually going to show you once I uh, have now you created a cash app account I'm going to show you how to go ahead and um, onboard your fiat So I'm going to go ahead and go to my cash app This is what it looks like the app once you have it all installed and account created uh, you'll want to go through linking it to your bank account, which I'm not going to go through here because I don't want to show all that stuff, uh, but you'll want to link your bank account. Uh, very simple and easy to do. Uh, and once you have set that up, uh, you're going to go to this bottom left hand button. You see where it says four US dollars. I'm going to click on that. All right. Now from here, you're going to go ahead and click add cash at the top here. I'm going to click a hundred US dollars, click add. And then from here, you're going to punch in your pin. And then boom, you've now added $100 US to your cash app, just like that. And now you can see the cash balance now reflects the $100 that I added. I had $4.45 before. Now from here, you're gonna click on that Bitcoin button right there where it shows the chart and the amount of Bitcoin I have. You're gonna click on that and you're gonna select buy Bitcoin, okay? And I'm gonna click on these dot, dot, dots because I wanna customize the amount of money that I wanna buy. I'm gonna click that dot, dot, dot. And then from there, I'm gonna click 100 click next again you're going to push in your pin there you go you can see on the screen it's a hundred dollars of us of cash that i'm now converting to bitcoin uh total bitcoin purchase is going to be 97 dollars they're going to take two dollars in fees unfortunately everybody needs to take their cut so you have two dollars of fees uh and then i go ahead and click confirm and then there you go i have now purchased bitcoin all right now that we've gone ahead and bought the bitcoin the next step is to take the trust wallet Bitcoin address and you're going to send that Bitcoin to it. OK, so that is how we're going to move it into our trading wallet. OK, because right now only Bitcoin can be purchased and bought and sold and held in Cash App. You can't buy any other cryptocurrencies right now. So we need to take the Bitcoin and move it out of this uh, account and put it into our trust wallet account. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into that. So here we are. We're in our trust wallet. And I'm going to click up here at the top, search Bitcoin, all right, to get my address. 
uh, click on that. And then from here, you're gonna click on receive. Uh, you will now copy this address, click on the bottom left there, copy. And that now copies it to the clipboard. We're gonna go back to Cash App, click on Bitcoin there, okay? Um, and then we wanna click that little envelope there, or little paper envelope there. It's to send, buy, sell, and then send. Um, we wanna send Bitcoin. Um, and I'm gonna send point zero zero one actually let me do two uh, i'm gonna send point zero zero two bitcoin i click next you can also let me just show you another thing um let's say i, I, I want to do just 100 us dollars right you can click on this little plus minus there and it'll change to dollars okay um you could also where it says send bitcoin at the top you just type in that value there so i can do point zero well I have other Bitcoin in there. I don't want to send it all, but you, you would just send that amount underneath where it says send Bitcoin. You just send that value of BTC available to the wallet. Okay. So in this case, I'm just going to do the, because I have other Bitcoin in there. I don't want to send today. Um, I'm going to do 0 0.002, as I said, which is about $137. Click send. Um, and from here, I'm going to paste in the wallet from my clipboard up at the top. Oh, actually it's, it's hidden for you all, but you're gonna put in the two, you're gonna put that address in there, okay? Sorry, it's blanked out for security reasons. I can't show it on the screen. But in the two line, you're gonna paste it in there, okay? Then confirm it by selecting it down below. You'll confirm it, click next at the top. And from here, you have a few options. I'm gonna click priority just in the census of this video. But if you're not looking to rush it, um, you could do it for free at the bottom there. Send your Bitcoin for free. Um, now it will take about a day. And if you have no rush and you're just kind of taking it off uh, the, the cash app and moving it into your trust wallet, uh, you can just click standard and it just will get there within a day. And it's just not priority, right? I'm going to click priority. It means I'm going to pay a fee of $3.70. So just be mindful of the fees that you're going to be paying. Uh, and I will click confirm and send is the next step here after reviewing this. All right, once again, asking for my pin, I type that in. All right, and there you go. You have initiated withdrawal of 0 0.002 with Bitcoin. I click done, I go back here. Uh, and then as you can see, the value has come down from the value before uh, for what you have withdrawn in Bitcoin, okay? That is how you handle it from uh, getting the, the funds out of your cash app and into the trust wallet. And from there, it's gonna take you, I don't know about, I've seen it take around like, between five to six minutes. Sometimes it just depends on how congested the network is. Uh, so just be mindful of that when you're waiting for it to come through. All right, now from here, you have now gotten that Bitcoin sent from Cash App into your trust wallet. So we're gonna go ahead and go down to where it says uh, Bitcoin, right, on your wallet. You'll click on Bitcoin. And then here you'll also see the confirmed transaction of what you just sent to your wallet, the receiving of that Bitcoin that you paste in that wallet address. Um, so now that you have the Bitcoin in your wallet, the last step is really optional, really, because now you've gotten you've gotten your, your fiat turned into crypto. This coin is Bitcoin. But the reason why I use Trust Wallet, again, for this purpose is because it's not EVM specific. And, um, and what that is, is like basically Ethereum based uh, bo blockchain, right? So if you look at Ethereum, Polygon, Avalanche, um, and I can go on and on. Those are all EVM compatible and only MetaMask is a good uh, wallet that I see for decentralized transactions. But when it comes to Bitcoin, Trust Wallet is really the only one that I, I think is a decent one when it comes to uh, moving crypto around once you get it into a decentralized format, right? So now that we're at, we've got our, our coin now, um, you wanna sign up, again, you can do this optionally. You don't have to do this. You can just sit with your Bitcoin and be happy. But let's say you want to trade some coins that are on Avalanche, for example, okay? So what we need to do is we need to convert this Bitcoin and we're going to convert it into a stable coin. And what a stable coin mean is it's tied to the US dollar. So in this case, a stable coin that um, is going to be on that new blockchain. In this case, I'm talking about Avalanche, right? So when you go to SimpleSwap and you created an account, you're going to get this exchange looking thing right here in the homepage. It's simpleswap.io is what you're gonna to go to and you'll log into your account. Once you have an account created, again, it's free to set up. Um, here, I'm going to set up my exchange and this is how it works. You create an exchange and you send your Bitcoin to that exchange. 
Um, and then it does a swap and it sends the crypto back to your wallet that you'd like, okay? So in this case, I am going to do 0 .001 uh, one Bitcoin. And I'm going to convert that to, like I said, I want to do a Avalanche. So on AVAX, I'm going to select the stable coin on AVAX of USDT. USDT is US dollar tether is what it is. Um, so 0 0.001 Bitcoin. Bitcoin is equivalent to 67 US dollars in USDT. So there's a little bit of uh, money they're gonna take from a uh, transaction fee standpoint. It's just a couple of dollars here and there. But from here, I'm going to create an exchange, okay? Give that a second. All right, so now you get to this page here where it's saying, okay, you have your $68 of Bitcoin getting converted to about $68 of USDT. Again, some small fees there. Um, and here you wanna enter your AVAX address, okay? AVAX is um, similar to Ethereum in that it's EVM compatible. So if you go back to your trust wallet and search AVAX, your AVAX wallet, you'll click on that AVAX and you're gonna say, I wanna receive AVAX, okay? Because um, there, once the Bitcoin is converted using simple swap, it's gonna send that USDT to your AVAX wallet, okay? Now, you might be saying, why do I select AVAX? You can do the same thing for USDT, but remember, USDT is on many different chains, right? So when you took USDT, um, you'll wanna make sure you select this Avalanche one, the C chain, if you're doing Avalanche, right? But you can see your USDT smart chain, that's BSC, Polygon, uh, Kronos, Ethereum. Um, it, there's all these other EVM compatible blockchains that have USDT on them as well. But in this one, we want to make sure we click the Avalanche one because that's what I want to do is I want to get an Avalanche based USDT, right? So I'm going to say receive, okay? And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to copy that address. I'm going to copy that address and go back to Simple Swap. Um, and I'm going to paste in that stable coin here, that stable coin address for USDT, okay? The USDT AVAX, here's a, here it is right here. Um, waiting for a quote, just why the spinning wheel is happening here. And then this will turn blue to say create an exchange, okay? All right, I'm just gonna figure with this real quick. All right. Okay, sometimes you gotta like, if it's spinning, 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 you gotta just, you know, edit this back here. So again, I'm sending to this AVAX address, which is my trust wallet, USDT AVAX wallet, create an exchange. And this basically is now gonna set up the transaction to go from Bitcoin to Avalanche blockchain, okay? So I need to send my Bitcoin into this. Uh, it's this deposit address here. I am going to click on this copy, okay? To copy this address, because that's where I need to send my 0 .001 Bitcoin to. And then I'm gonna go back into Trust Wallet. I'm going to find my Bitcoin, okay? and I'm going to send the Bitcoin and I'm gonna control V paste it in there or just paste it in there in your app. And I'm gonna do the 0 .001 as I did in that exchange I created in SimpleSwap. Click preview, small little fee here. Click confirm. All right, so now it is sending that Bitcoin over. So simple swap is going to take a few minutes. This takes about approximately about five to six minutes, just depending on how congested the network is. So just be mindful of that. But yes, it is now going to uh, wait for the deposit to come in from the Bitcoin blockchain. So the Bitcoin blockchain is gonna take that Bitcoin in and it's gonna basically sell the Bitcoin for you and send it over to the Avalanche blockchain and buy USDT for you. Okay, so this is a very simple, easy to use process. I find it cleverly named Simple Swap for a reason, um, but that's how I get it. Okay, so just a quick recap while we're waiting for this to go through. Um, right, you're going to create a Cash App account. Again, it's on mobile only. Um, once you create an account, you're going to create a link to your bank account. So where you're going to onboard the fiat from. You will then buy, bring the dollars into, uh, in my sense, bring dollars into Cash App. And then once I have the fiat in the cash app, I buy the Bitcoin, okay? Okay, so now you have the Bitcoin in your cash app. You want to now send it to your wallet, which is 
Cash App is not your wallet. Uh, so in this case, I suggest highly using Trust Wallet. It is not EVM specific. It allows basically Bitcoin, Solana, basically any kind of uh, chain because it's a multi-chain wallet. Uh, so I send it into the Trust Wallet and now it's in a decentralized wallet, okay? Not stuck up on an exchange, not your keys, not your crypto, right? All right, so then from there, you now have the Bitcoin has been put into your wallet. Um, and then from there, uh, you can just sit and hold the Bitcoin um, now in your wallet, decentralized. Or again, if you want to swap it to other uh, uh, different blockchains, like, uh, like I mentioned, Polygon or Avalanche, uh, simpleswap.io is a great site for that. Free to create an account um, and you connect your wallet and you're off and running. Okay, so that's it. Uh, that's really in summary what this is all about, this video. I really hope... Um, you know, you guys really enjoyed that content. Again, the point of this whole thing was is to talk about how to get the US dollars or your local currency that you use and bring it into crypto, all right? I hope you found this very simple and easy to follow. Uh, do uh, like the video if you like what you heard today. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And of course, leave me a comment down below if you have any feedback. I'd love to hear it. Um, the, I just, I think one thing we didn't cover off here, and I'm going to have some other videos on, is about the gas. Okay. So remember, in Simple Swap, you're sending, um, you know, currency to another blockchain. You need to have enough money for gas fees. Uh, so in the case of AVAX, um, you need to have uh, AVAX there to pay for gas. Uh, so from that standpoint, I highly encourage you to use a centralized exchange to get that gas uh, put into your wallet. Uh, that means you have to buy AVAX uh, in a centralized exchange manner. Unfortunately, that's the only way to go about doing that, um, to get the gas in your wallet. Uh, but you'll need some AVAX if you're going to play with it, play around in AVAX. Uh, same thing goes for Polygon. You need to have some Matic in your wallet in order to pay for the gas fees. So do use a centralized exchange for that only. Uh, but again, you do really small transactions and then send them into there so you have the gas fees, okay? So uh, that's really what I want to cover today. Hope you all enjoy the content. Again, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. PJ Crypto signing off, and I'll see you on the moon. Bye, everyone.